Ah yes, welcome friends to another installment of snowboarding and skiing in Tahoe. Uh, my name is Matt. I am a mediocre snowboarder who likes making videos in sports basement. Um, so today I want to share with you a beginner's guide to Tahoe. Um, this video is a, a list of all of the tips and tricks that I wish I had known when I first started out um, snowboarding a couple of years ago. Um, I think that there are a lot of little things that got overlooked when folks are first getting into the sport. And so with this video, I hope to give you all of the shortcuts and cliff notes and cheat codes that you need to have more fun more quickly when you're out there in Tahoe trying to shred that gnar. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so you're ready to go to Tahoe. You're ready to shred the gnar, but you got to get your gear. Uh, well, luckily, Sports Basement is covered. Um, sports Basement, they rent out gear. We are talking stuff for a day, stuff for a whole season, um, everything you could possibly need. You go online, you register for the stuff you want, you come in store, you check in, and the team gets you set up with everything. They make sure the boots fit, they make sure you got the right board, the right skis, and the right ski and snowboard gear so that when you hit the slopes, you are ready to go. If you decide you like this stuff, we also sell all the snowboarding and ski gear you need. So come on down. Checking out the village area or the area at the base of the mountain is always a great way to start your day. Um, it's where you can get food, it's where the bathrooms are at. Just scoping that out is a nice way to know where things are as you're getting situated before you hit the slopes. Uh, when you're getting in line for the lift, they have lines for groups, but also for singles. I didn't know this for a while and the singles line typically goes a lot faster. So if you're by yourself, hop in a singles line. I feel like getting on and off the lifts is like one of the scariest things that you can do as a new. Um, and it's totally fine though. Uh, it's very simple. When the lift goes in front of you, you just walk up to this little line here. Uh, if you're a snowboarder especially, um, try to have your bindings closed and sit down and then lift up your feet so that your snowboard or ski doesn't catch on the snow. Uh, if you've done this part, you're already halfway there. Um, the next critical part is just making it off the lift once you get to the top of the mountain. Um, so when you're up there, the key thing is just try and go in a straight line. So just get off, stand up, and just try and slide forward. If you fall, you just wanna try and clear the lift so that you don't uh, cause it to stop. If it does happen, it's not the end of the world. It's happened to all of us, so don't stress too much about it. All right, so make sure you are looking at the trails that you're going on before you go on them. Black diamonds are hard, blue squares are intermediate, green circles are easy. Look before you leap, it's so critical. Ah! <laughs> oh my. Okay, so to that point, here is some footage from my very first day snowboarding as an adult. I think this is like back in 2020. Um, I did not know what I was doing here. I was basically going down on my heels the whole time. And I somehow ended up on a black diamond on a powder day, which if you know what you're doing sounds super fun, but as a beginner, it was actually kind of lame because I was just on my butt the whole time. So make sure that you're on the right terrain for your skill level. All right, so if you're newer to skiing and snowboarding, you're gonna wanna start out on groomers. Um, groomers are basically big open swaths of field. They're called groomers because they get groomed every morning. Um, and they're a great place to learn how to ride. You've got a bunch of space, it's not too steep, um, and it's just a bunch of really awesome terrain to practice on. Um, they have groomers on the green runs as well as the blue runs and even some black diamonds. So um, that should definitely be your first stop when you're figuring out um, how to ski and snowboard. All right, we got to talk about the pow. People chase pow, people love powder. Pow just means it's freshly snowed and there's like inches of soft fluffy snow instead of the hard groomed snow. Uh, if you are newer, there's just a couple things you got to know about powder. Um, you just ride it a little bit differently. You need to lean back on your ski or snowboards to stay upright. And if you do fall, it's a little bit harder to get up. So if you know what you're doing, it is super fun. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, just try and lean back and turn with your rear foot. Um, definitely recommend people get out there on a powder day. Um, I will say though that it, it, is, it is just a little bit harder. So if you are totally new to skiing and snowboarding, um, maybe focus on the fundamentals before you go out chasing powder because you're not actually going to have that great of a time. You're just going to be falling down a bunch and the big downside of powder is when you do fall it is like super hard to get up because your hands and feet and snowboard just sink into the snow 
rather than, um, so you don't have a surface to push up against. So powder is amazing. Lean back and steer with your rear foot uh, if you're in it, um, but also be aware of falling because it's a pain in the butt to get up. All right, so one other thing that I got to recommend you do is ski with a buddy, a pal, a friend, a lover, uh, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, anybody in your life. Skiing, snowboarding with other people is so much fun. Um, it is a way to you know, get better, to learn from other people. Uh, it's a way to stay safe. So if you fall or you're in the back country, you got somebody there who's got your back. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a good time. All right, and just like that, I have imparted to you, dear listener, all of the tips and tricks that you need to have a great first day out in Tahoe. Uh, whether you are a beginner or a longtime pro, I hope this video uh, is giving you some entertainment and some useful information so that you can maximize your time out on the snow and out on the slopes. Keep an eye on the channel. We are gonna have more videos coming out talking about all the gear you need to have a great time from the expensive stuff to the affordable stuff to everything in between. Uh, you'll have all the info to get out there and be comfortable while you're riding. So I think that's all. Until next time, signing off. Oh wait, actually, scratch that. What else did I miss in this video? If there are things in this video that you think I should have included or you wanna hear for next time, let me know in the comments. Smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get these followership numbers all the way to the moon. <laughs> okay, all right. Bye-bye.